everyone, I'm David Pistoni, CEO and co-founder of Celeros, and we are the European company based in Spain, in Valencia, and developing Hyperloop. Hyperloop is basically a train levitating inside a tube in vacuum. In this way, we can achieve speeds up to 1,000 km per hour with low energy consumption and zero direct emissions. As we are reducing the friction with the rails and the air, uh, we reduce this energy consumption and our vehicle is fully electric. We are also working together with other Hyperloop companies to define a European framework uh, to standardize the technologies and to be able to connect different countries point to point, connecting different cities, both for passengers and cargo. Hyperloop is actually a 200 years old idea, uh, but it was recovered by Elon Musk in 2013 uh, with uh, an international competition. We participated in that competition and we won two of the main prizes. Since then, we created the company, Celeros, and we are together with, with other partners from the industrial and institutional uh, side. We are more than 180 people involved in the development. We are working together to build different test tracks, different prototypes that are already ongoing. Having ready the technology for uh, 2030 together with the regulatory framework required to build these routes of Hyperloop in the different regions. The problems uh, that Hyperloop is solving are, as example, the transport decarbonization, where 25% of the overall CO2 emissions are still coming from transportation. With Hyperloop, we can use electric vehicle uh, to reduce these emissions. Also, we are expecting having around 70% of, of people living in cities for 2050. So these cities overpopulation need, will need also to connect city to city with this uh, new means of transportation. We are seeing how the aviation sector, uh, the space for aviation is getting overloaded uh, year by year. Each 15 years we see how we double the quantity of planes we have in the sky and we need these kind of alternatives as well to change our energy model in terms of the transportation. A global Hyperloop network could avoid more than 6.3 gigatons of CO2 emissions by 2050. there are more than 2 billion euros in projects ongoing in different regions around the world. We have 2030 as the date for having both the technology and regulations ready to implement uh, this route. There are different regions like Middle East, uh, India, Asia, the east of Australia, United States and of course Europe uh, with a lot of traction and interest in this technology and then the following years we will have also coming additional regions to this global network that we are projecting. You can check also in our website in cereros.com our project Vision 2050, where you can find the different networks around the world that can be applied with, with this new technology. Hyperloop is being created to complement the current transportation systems, so interoperability will be the key uh, to take the best from the different uh, means of transportation that we use. So, if we want to go to Berlin from Madrid, Valencia or Barcelona, uh, we are not talking about just one mean of transportation, but the different ones we are using and how we connect uh, the different options we have is uh, a key as well to, to be sustainable and to be efficient in terms of the timing we have uh, when we travel.